Nike just unveiled the Sabrina 2s and they invited me to the New York Liberty game this afternoon to check out Sabrina while she debuted the Court Vision colorway on court. Now I don't have a pair in hand but I did get a chance to capture a ton of b-roll and I even got the chance to try on the display pair that was at the Nike suite. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the Easter eggs, the technology within the shoes and then if I miss anything then feel free to sound off in the comments, okay? So first things first, I know a lot of people are comparing it to the Kobe 5s, which is not a bad thing. I mean, nowadays, any low-cut basketball sneaker is gonna get compared to a Kobe. So let's just throw that out the window, okay? If you were to compare this to a Kobe 5, I will say that just off of memory and how they felt on foot, these feel a lot better than Kobe sneakers. Uh, Kobe still uses like outdated technology. I don't want to say it's bad technology, but it's outdated, right? It's, we're, we're in 2024 now. So technology is a lot better. But also, let's talk about the price point. This specific colorway, Court Vision is going to release June 28th for $130. You're not going to find Kobe 5s for $130, okay? So there's a huge price point difference. And of course, if you're getting compared to one of the greatest of all time, that's also a good thing too. Now, I can see how some people would say, whoa, it's lacking originality. What? There's only so many shapes a low-cut shoe can take. I recognize the criticism, but that has nothing to do with Sabrina. Sabrina's a huge Kobe supporter. Hell, they have a good rapport with each other, even with the Bryant family. So, there's that, right, okay? So let's just go right into the tech, because I, I took some notes as well. So on the Nike app, it says a four foot air zoom unit gives you responsive pop and speed. The midsole has two types of foam. There's a Kushlon foam that gives you a plush underfoot sensation. And then there's a firmer Kushlon foam that wraps around it to provide stability. There's also a dynamic internal midfoot containment system with a fit band and stitch cables that allows you to control every movement once you lace it up. There's a modified herringbone pattern with little S's all around the outside of the outsoles. If you take a closer look, you can see it also on the swoosh as well. Very, very cool little Easter eggs. And then also you see this embroidered S on the back of the shoe. That's paying homage to the dream weavers who continue to strive to do more and uh there's also this like shattered glass thing that is right next to the swoosh that's just a symbol of sabrina breaking through the glass ceiling you got this iridescent swoosh going surrounded by the little s's like i mentioned and then also sabrina's signature on the midsole of course you have the the signature sabrina s logo on the tongue there's a lot of embroidery happening here especially on the upper of the shoe which i appreciate because it takes quality to make embroideries okay you can't just be ironing on or, or printing on stuff. That's just the, the quick way to go around things. But embroidery, yeah, that takes it up to a next level. And then on this uh, on this toe box area, it's, it's this like shiny mesh. It's kind of like the same material as my Nike book bag that you see right here. That's like the material that is on top of the, the toe box area. And then of course you can see the, the different type of cablings underneath the, the side panels. I think that's it in terms of the tech. So when I did try it on, I tried it on for maybe a minute. So I'm, I'm recalling everything from memory right now. But I do remember it being significantly different in terms of the feel. Definitely lighter, that's for sure. I know they shaved off, I don't wanna say a pound because a pound is crazy, but they shaved off a decent amount of weight. I'm sure when you put any shoe on your foot and you start running around, you're probably not gonna notice the difference unless of course it's like a three pound shoe compared to a one pound shoe. But if it's usually in the general weight area, you're probably not gonna notice because your, your, your legs are so strong that like a half a pound is not gonna make a difference. But I did notice that it was lighter. The padding around the collar, you could definitely feel that it's still there. It was prevalent in the Sabrina 1s. It's still there in the Sabrina 2s. I would say around the toe area and the upper, that's where I felt the most difference. It felt like it wasn't as snug as the Sabrina 1s, which you know could be a good thing. I personally like the Sabrina 2s, the feel of it more, just because it felt like it wasn't hugging the top of my foot as much. So if I wanted a more snug feel, I could easily just lace it up tighter. But I felt like I didn't need to when I slipped my foot in initially. So that was a good thing. And then 
other than that, right, the, the look of it is not too far away from the Sabrina one. So you don't want to fix what's not broken. And the, the success of the Sabrina ones is so good that you might as well just tweak it just a little bit just so that it elevates a little bit and then keep moving on with the next signature lines. June 28th, $130. I think originally the Sabrina ones were like 120, I want to say. What was it, 110? Yeah, it was 120. So this is a $10 price increase, which expect it, you know, more signature lines you get. Eventually it gradually goes up higher. Uh, so yeah, 130, June 28th, go true to size or Whatever size you got the Sabrina ones in, get the same size. So that is my recommendation. If I missed anything, I think the, the sock liners, same sock liner, had the Sabrina S logo on there. But other than that, I didn't really see anything on the lace tips. It was just like standard lace tips, like blank, no logos or anything on it. Um, I'm trying to recall if I missed anything. Just a lot of embroideries. The, the upward swoosh was still there again. This is uh, kind of paying, paying homage or just saying that, you know, Sabrina's breaking through uh, barriers or ceilings as, is, as they say. So if you saw the, the shattered glass embroideries uh, right next to the swoosh, that's, that's what it signifies. But I think that's about it. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to the wear test. Uh, I'd imagine that's gonna happen like a couple weeks from now at the Nike HQ. Uh, I'm just guessing, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'll give you, I'll probably make a, another video giving my initial thoughts after I, I hoop in those. And I'll, I'll do a more in-depth comparison, but this is just like what I can recall from memory and also the B-roll that I currently have. But I appreciate you guys watching. I'm still gonna do the basketball content, so subscribe to the channel, all right? We have the Dallas Mavericks taking on OKC, trying to close it out in game six tonight. I'm rooting for the Dallas Mavericks, okay? But we shall see. Exciting basketball coming. Wolves play the Nuggets tomorrow. Come on. The Wolves are going up against Thanos. We need that Wolves win, baby. But other than that, uh, like I said, I predicted the Pacers were going to win game six, and they did. So now we have a game, a game seven at MSG at 3.30 in the afternoon. I don't know how the team is going to perform in these early games. Usually both teams muck it up because the energy's not there when it's like an afternoon game but we shall see right game seven's on the line you got to bring it no excuses even though the knicks are shorthanded no excuses but other than that thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video peace